This underutilized fly pattern is one of the best at catching brook trout. To tie it, we'll start off with some pink thread, secure it to our hook shank, and insert some lead-free wire to hold our bead in place. Helicopter the excess free and continue wrapping until you reach the hook bend. Next, we'll grab some pink crystal flash, select about four strands and secure them to the back of the fly. Continue securing the crystal flash up the hook shank and snip the excess free. Next, we'll grab some small wire. Here I'm using rust, insert it into the bead, securing it to the hook shank and wrapping until we reach our tail. We'll then grab some squirrel. This one was sent to me by Carson R, so thank you for sending that along. Strip some of the natural fibers free and create some dubbing. We'll then create a dubbing noodle and begin wrapping it forward until we reach our bead. Doing so in closed touching spirals and building up a transition that increases as we move towards the head of the fly. Continuing to add and tighten the dubbing as needed. Once our thread reaches the head of the fly, grab your wire and begin to wrap it forward in open spirals, counter wrapping the dubbing. Once we reach our thread, we'll secure by taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind the wire and helicoptering the excess free. With this complete, we'll brush it out to give it a nice buggy look. Next, we'll grab some dubbing. Here I'm using a pink synthetic UV dubbing. Create another dubbing noodle and begin wrapping it around the head of our fly. Whip finish to hold everything in place. Snip your thread free and brush it out to give it a nice buggy look. And this is the pink squirrel, an extra buggy pattern that works particularly well to catch brook trout. You can tie it up with the materials below or submit a custom order form on my website and I'll tie some up for you. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.